in Jimmy Dean's breakfast bowl and coffee ready to get it. That sounds good, dude. Sounds like you're vibing. I mean, a sandwich? Some orange juice, dude. Ready for gaming to occur. What's up, Dr. Brown? The earliest you've been to a waifu stream? Really? Rise and shine, gamers. No god hand. You know, I've never even played it. And honestly, I don't have much interest in playing god hand. It seems like it's one of those predecessor action games that I like. I'm just not going to care about at all because I'm not really interested in legacy. I just want to play games that are good now. If they're only good because like they're the first to do something, then I probably won't care. To be honest. Can I ask a religion question? I mean, you can, but I'm certainly not going to answer you. But feel free to skip so post in the chat. What's up, Raiden? How you doing, dude? Howdy, howdy. Yeah, I know. I know what it is. I've seen it. I just don't really have any interest in playing it. What's up, Drub? Howdy, howdy. What's up, Balaron? Oh no, Halo, I'm getting flashbacks of through the sector. Ah, right, look, this time, this time the DC launch will go fine, all right? I like to say I practice, but we all know that's a lie. I haven't played Time Splitters 2 in like so long. I gotta try it again. I was planning on going and doing some runs of it after Future Perfect, but then I never got around to it. Uh, excuse me. So this is a stream where you practice the list of games. This is a stream where I do just one reset run of each game. For fun. Content. What's with the new overlay? What, you don't like it? What's up, Glenn? Can I get a what do you think of X for 500? Uh, what is YouTube chat? I like it a lot too. I think it's real good for the marathons. Clean. Elegant. Um, well, in New Game Plus, you... Ah, Shadow Play. Uh, in New Game Plus, you use a grenade to, like, blast yourself past it. But that's only faster because then you get to Dipman through it. Because it's New Game Plus. So on New Game, I don't think... It's called JC Skip. I don't think it's faster to do JC Skip. Even on like an amateur or easy, where you'll still be in green health afterwards. The old one was a bit better. I respect your opinion, but I disagree. This one's a bit less cluttered. I am though. Only has relevant information on it. It's not Brandon. Yeah, I do these every week. I didn't do it last week because I was just really busy and like needed some time off, so I just took 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 the time off. 
supposed to do it on Fridays. But we're doing this one on Saturday because yesterday I had to take the day off. So my girlfriend's car has been out of commission. She had to get a radiator replaced and I had my friend come and do it because he would actually do it correctly and charge us about half as much as the auto shop would because auto shops are complete scams. Like actually, auto shops are crazy, dude. They, they like, auto shops are a lot like hospitals and stuff where you have absolutely zero idea what's wrong with your car or like your body. You just know that something's wrong and that it needs to be fixed. So you take it to them and you're like, fix it, please. And they're like, okay, that'll be approximately 12 bajillion dollars. And you're like, I, I guess, I mean, what else am, am I going to say? No, I need my car or like, I, you know, I need my body to work. And then they could give you like complete absolute dog shit service and like not even fix what was wrong and then give it back to you. And you just have to be like, okay, thank you. Cause you don't know. You have no idea if what they did was the right thing that they were supposed to do or if they did it correctly or whatever. Yeah, like my girlfriend took her car and it was overheating. She took it to like a auto shop. They charged her like $170 just to look at the car. They didn't even do anything just to look at it. And they're like, yo, your radiator's fucked. And uh, you're gonna need to replace it and like replace some pipes and stuff. And we'll do it for a grand. And I'm like, that sounds ridiculous. So I hit up my homie and was like, yo, can you look at my girl's car and see if that's actually what's wrong with it? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he looks at it. He's like, yeah, it is. But I can get the parts for like 200 bucks and then do like 200 bucks worth of labor. And he did that yesterday. So I, I was, that's what I did instead of streaming because I just like hung out with him while he fixed her car and stuff while she was at work. What are you selling? But it's such a scam. Like they, they do this to girls a lot too because a lot of times girls don't know shit about cars. So they're like, I, I saw this TikTok one time. It was a screenshot of a TikTok. It might've been fake, but it's like this really hot girl and she's, it's like, this guy at the repair shop was really nice. We flirted a little bit and he gave me a super great deal on an oil change. It was only $200. Like perfect encapsulation of just completely scamming people who have no idea about cars. Like an oil change is like a $30 job at most. But it's so true, because like, you don't know. I don't know. I don't know shit about cars. I just know that the shit is overheating and I need to fix it. I don't, I don't know how or what or why. But yeah, I think we had the homie. I hit him up and he did it for like half. And I know when he's doing it that the work's going to be good. So I don't have to worry about it breaking again real soon or nothing. Yeah, hospitals are the same way. Cause like, you don't know your body, you know, you're just like, I, my fucking head hurts. Like, well, it turns out you have an aneurysm in your brain and you're gonna die. Need uh, intense brain surgery. Uh, okay, I guess. What's that? You have a small issue and you're able to be released? No, we're just gonna keep you here overnight just in case, you know, for your safety. By the way, it's $35,000 a day. Yeah. Medical's crazy. Yeah, dentists are kind of the same way, but my dentist is really cool. He like takes the x-rays and stuff, and then he like gives a presentation, dude. He's like got the PowerPoint ready. He's like, all right, check this shit out. So this is your teeth. Exhibit A. This shit's fucked. And I'm like, all right, all right, I get it. I see. And he like explains to me, you know, like, you're like, this is your teeth that are not fucked, and then this is your teeth that are fucked. Like, you can see on the x-ray how they are, in fact, fucked. Exhibit A. I'm like, oh, okay. I understand. That makes sense. You know, he, he, like, actually illustrates the point. Like, this is why this needs to be done, and, like, where it is. 
Every dentist you ever went to does this. I know for a fact that not all of them do that though. Because I've been to dentists before that don't do that. And like both mechanic repair shops and like doctors have an incentive to keep you coming back, right? Like if you're a mechanic, like why would I fix the problem if I could just convince them I fixed the problem and then have them come back in like a month and so I could make more money off of them, right? Like tell them it's the wrong thing, charge them like three times the amount it's actually worth to fix. Then when they come back with the same problem, then I could sell them something else. Fucking five head, dude. Infinite money glitch. That's why you wait till your car almost doesn't work before you take it in. Based. True. Me too, essentially. Your car costs 1500 bucks just to check it. <clears throat> why it was overheating in three different repair shots. It was just the pump. It was overheating only when you stood still. Damn, dude, 1500 just to look? That's fucking crazy. That's so much money. Thanks, Devar, for about this. How are you doing? That is wild, actually. Like, if your mechanic doesn't have like six cars and all of them half work, then they're not a real mechanic. That That's my homie. Definitely gonna go to him for like everything now. Like, have him come over, girl make dinner for us all, you know? Buy him a beer. Obviously pay him still too, but shoot the shit and whatnot. Then why would you go to that repair shop? Gradually he loses customers because of the rating? No, he won't. If he lives in a big city, there's so many people here, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, you live in Arizona, I live in Phoenix, like... There's like fucking five million people that live here. There's a million repair shops, everyone goes to new repair shops every time. Doesn't matter. Like Also, how are you supposed to know if they did a bad job or they did a good job or if your car just sucks? Right? Like the average person is not going to know if they got screwed over and like they didn't actually fix the problem or if they were just unlucky. Right? Cuz in theory like you could go to a right repair shop. Yeah, Baku, next to the 25. Um, but yeah, I mean, in theory, you could go to a nice honorable shop that's going to do it right and still have to come back three or four times because they like misdiagnosed it or like your car just sucks, right? Like, and most people don't have enough car issues that they're going to be going back to the same place enough times to know if they even did it wrong. You know what I mean? Like, most people probably have substantial car issues maybe once every two to three years. I guess it depends on, like, the quality of car that you have. But yeah, I mean... Nah, you'll be fine. Like, you can just totally get away with it. There's so many people. And a lot of times, like, you don't have choice. Like, with the medical stuff, a lot, like, you just go to the hospital and you just, like, RNG dice roll, like, whatever doctor you get, right? Like, nothing you could do to control that. You just go somewhere that accepts your insurance and hope is good. <laughs> you know, you can't be like, well, this doctor sucked, so I'm not going there anymore. Leon! 
shoot those wagons in that barrel. Yeah, it's kind of a scam. Not a huge fan. That's why you just like, I don't know. For medical stuff, I, I don't know, because you just gotta dice for all that shit. But for cars, you can at least like, they're simple enough that you can have a friend or you know a guy, you know, and that guy does all your shit. But for medical stuff, you're basically bone. If you broke your dick, you just live like that? Ain't no way you're going to a hospital with a broken cock. Why not, man? You get to flex your huge cock. At the hospital. Also, it'd probably be extremely painful. I would definitely go to the hospital if I broke my dick. Besides, the number one way you break your dick is by having sex. So... We both don't have to worry about that. I pick my doctor based on screaming. No screaming, not no working. Interesting. How's that working out for you? Are you trying to kill me? This. I'm gonna get fucking grabbed right now. Oh, we're fine. How did you get that custom model and the MC3? I paid someone to make it for me. Are you trying to kill me? Come here, big boys. Why do you know so much about breaking dicks, cat dog? Kevin. Are there all campaigns in Left 4 Dead? Nah. It's main campaigns. It does sound like an experience. That's unfortunate. I hope it healed. Went to the doctor with twisted nuts. Shit was the worst. Had to get last minute surgery to save the sack. Oh dude, rough rough i uh i had a friend who was like a brother he we lived with him for a long time and he got one of his testes like lost up in his guts i think this went up there and it wouldn't come down he had to get surgery to get it back down that shit happens it just happens like, unfortunately, nuts aren't designed very well. You know, they can just like do random shit because they're just nuts hanging out.
We need a twisted nutsack awareness month. I really don't think building awareness for stuff is really that useful, to be honest. I don't know why there's like breast cancer awareness month. Like, yeah. at this point, I, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what breast cancer is. I think in 2008, everyone knew what breast cancer is. What about like breast cancer, like fixing the fucking problem month or something? I don't know. Instead of spending a bunch of money on like making everything pink, you could like just send that money to charity and they like investigate research or something. Most cancer awareness is tied to fundraisers, I guess, but like, I don't know. Fundraisers are usually notoriously bad with their money. It would be doing fundraisers and then spend more money than they actually raised. Like in the NFL and stuff, they'd be like making a brand new jersey for like every player so everyone's wearing pink and shit. That costs a lot of money. But we can't make money if we just give money to the researchers? True. We gotta make it about us. Always. Instead of just like... Donating. Makes sense. I burned myself. Hey, Blazed. Hey, old man. Hey, Omega Krios. Are you okay, Leon? Are you okay, Leon? Hearing about someone's testes going up makes me feel weirdly sick. Yeah, dude, that shit can happen. New fear unlocked. What's up, Super Saiyan? That's a little early. Not super early. We're doing a bit of a longer one today, so... Checks out. Dude, I literally... So yesterday, like last night, not last night, but the day before, I was like, I went to the gym. Like, okay, I'm gonna be all tired. I woke up at like a decent time. I'm about to go to sleep. And then I literally stayed up till six in the morning and couldn't fall asleep. And then I slept like all day yesterday. And then I was like, okay, not, not doing this again. So I, I took some melatonin, slept like a baby, dude. I gotta be careful for all that stuff. It works too good. There's gotta be some drastic side effects. Like I'm, I'm definitely like going to hell or something. This is cheat code. I literally fucking fell asleep. Woke up at like nine in the morning, felt great. Didn't even want to sleep anymore. Actually, it was earlier than that. It was like 8.30 or something. But I gotta be careful with that, not use it too much. Only on nights where I'm like in a work mode and I don't want to get out of the work mode, that's when I take it. <laughs> that way I can fall asleep. Or my PC specs. In order to run the vastly graphical demanding 2005 GameCube game, Resident Evil 4, I am currently using a 4080 and a 5900X. <laughs> What are you buying? <laughs> Come back any time. Follow me. Worst fundraisers I remember is kids back to school when I was younger. Three cents out of every dollar actually went to charity. That's like really common, actually. A lot of charities are like that. It's wild. Only to get that sweet 60 FPS on RE4. Yeah, dude, honestly though, like it legit is hard to get 60 FPS in this game. Because this port sucks. Wait. You can finally consume more than 2,000 calories a day. Lucky. I can't even do that if I try. Wait. What's up, Grim? Have I ever listened to Kids Bob? No. 
Unfortunately not. I've been neglected as a child. If I haven't listened to kids about. What's up, Radish? How you doing, brother? Bro, is it true that there is essentially no randomness in Dead Space 2 now? Follow me. I think I asked Shark about it on Twitter and he said the only thing that's random is whether you get fast or slow transport hub skipped. Wait. That's so crazy. How did we not find that earlier? It looked easy. It's just a deload into a door dive. It's like every trick in Dead Space 2. What's up, skills? What's my hardest run? I know this run's pretty hard right now. I'm pretty hard. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that's probably why it took forever to find, but super cool. Now you... Are there any enemies you actually kill in that run? I guess Nicole. Dead Space 2 pacifist one. Why is it easy to gain weight but hard to lose it? I feel the other fucking way around. It's impossible to gain weight. The laws of thermodynamics themselves have conspired against me. And I could not gain weight. For now. I mean, I guess the, the big bottleneck to that is Nicole, but you could justify it be like, well, they're not actually enemies because it's on your head, you know? The only enemies you're fighting is Isaac's demons. Uh, you could probably find skips for those enemies that you do kill currently. It just might not be faster. Like, you wouldn't do it in the speedrun, but if you wanted to do, like, pacifist. Follow me. Wait. Excuse me. Bad yes, skip still sucks. Yeah, I saw that you thought you had something, but then you're like, oh, I cheated actually. This is so sad. Accidentally cheating. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I locked that way. It's all good on the best. It don't matter. The goat. That's why he the goat. Get out of here, bitch. Holy input lag. It's heavy, man, Jellico. Howdy. Evan Jellico, rather. Been loving your... Are for challenge videos? Thank you. Glad you enjoy. Need 
Theon Genesis Evan Gillian. Evan. Instead of Brazilla. Chicken Nuggies. I fuck with them. Also, I think they made Dead Space Remake unplayable on our GPUs. Every time you try to play it, it crashes. Down patch gang. XD, I missed. Yeah, Braz, thank you for the primer for this eight months. Much love. Appreciate you. Chicken Dugger. Hey, Lunar. Stay winning, Chief. Lunar, Duke, DMC3 Cake. I got a 125 yesterday, or two days ago. Do you prefer new or old look, Isaac Clark? I, I literally could care. I even if I tried, I could like have a PhD in character like looks, and I just, I don't think I could give a fuck to be honest. Dude, just a regular middle-aged man. Like, who cares? And that's how I feel. I don't really understand this obsession with everyone being so focused on character designs lately. Like the last three years, I've noticed it like really hard. People are like obsessed with character designs. It's like the most important thing. Like, yeah, I liked RE4 Remake, but I'm not really a huge fan of Crowder's face model. Or whatever, you know. What's up, Gata? Gonna depend on the back and forth of four games, DMC three and two. Yeah, but if you're already running DMC three, then you could just throw in some cake in there. It'll take take you like a week at max. Speeder, do I like the most? Left for the two. Yeah, I mean, Isaac Clark is just a, a middle-aged man. He looks like an old white dude. He looks like he could hold office. And that, that sounds about right to me. What's up, Dex? Waifu, how do I gain as much muscle as you? I don't have very much muscle. I just only have muscle. Thanks, Trev. I'm glad you liked the Boomer one. Like, no one fucking watched it. I guess I marketed it poorly, but I thought it was like one of my best videos. I was supposed to flash first. Fuck. Whatever. All good. I forgot to flash. What's 
Delta Corpse. I've been good, are you? Oh! Ah, oh, the cake videos suck. All good though. I'll do better next time. But yeah, I'm not. I don't have a lot of muscle. I just literally have nothing but muscle. I'm skin and bones and muscle. So like, I can look pretty good in like not that much time because you just eliminate all of the fat and then all that's left is muscle. But building muscle is impossible. I don't know. I literally, I've tried. I cannot eat 2,000 calories in a day. I can't do it. I just don't get hungry enough. Like I was even, and I will go back to this, is like making mass gainers and stuff. And even with those, I'm like barely edging out 2,000 calories. I just, my body just like, food? Eh. Mid. I've always kind of thought food was mid. But like, you know. Like when I was a kid, my parents had to like beg me to eat because I'm like, I just want to play video games and skateboard all the time. I, I don't want to eat. Eating is boring. Never hungry, ever. Sit down, they like make me sit down, like you're going to finish these chicken nuggets. Take me like six hours. Like, huh? But yeah, I mean, I was making protein shakes where it's like half a cup protein, cup and a half of whole milk. Um, two tablespoons of peanut butter. It's like 600 calories. I drink one of the, one of those, eat breakfast. Boom, I'm at like a thousand calories, but then like not hungry at all for the whole rest of the day. Maybe I eat like a light dinner. And you know, the dinner may be like a thousand calories if we went fast food or something. Like, okay, I barely broke 2000 calories today. You were doing three shakes double serving a day? So six servings of protein? Way weight gainer. Jesus Christ. You're not using all that protein. Just eat more? I know. I mean, I would, but I just don't get hungry. It is not necessary to look buff to look cool or, or something. You look okay to me. I mean, I'm, I like how I look, but I always just wanted to put on a couple more pounds. I'm a little light. I'm like 140 at six foot. That's pretty light. It's not like super light, but yeah, I eat pretty slow. For example, this sandwich I have been eating since the start of stream. Dude, mega. Howdy. No double, this is sad. And I'm one bullet short. Hold still, Ashley. What's that? Hold on. Help! Shut up, bitch. Hold still. There we go. You probably go to a restaurant and take two hours to finish the meal if I go fast. I'm not that slow. 
But yeah, I mean, if I go to a restaurant, usually I'm there for like an hour and a half. I like to take my time, enjoy my food, you know, have a conversation. Enjoy life, you know? Two minutes and you're done with any plate of food, regardless of how big it is, as long as it isn't sweet. That doesn't sound fun. That sounds like it would make my stomach hurt. Why would I want to do that? That seems like a problem. My girlfriend eats a lot faster than me. So she usually just will, like finishes her food and then she's like sitting there waiting on me. <laughs> Yo, Jerby, thanks to the primer. Thank you. Enjoy the emus. Much love. Prime gaming. Prime for yutters. Why is DMC5 there? Because I'm going to be speedrunning it. The patrons voted for DMC5 and Halo 3 this week. Which reminds me, I need to put up the patron poll for next week. Oh, I forgot to do that before I started the dish marathon. That's a good thing. She has time for seconds. Well, so she's got the opposite problem. She's trying to lose weight. Why well, you just give it to me? I'll take it. But it don't work that way, unfortunately. Yeah, I usually eat about two meals a day, too. Yeah, seems like I'll have to boot up Cheat Engine today. The bootleg PS5. Turbo mode activate. Surprised me I don't have a PS5 yet. I don't know why I would buy one. There's really no incentive to. What am I gonna use a PS5 for? So I can play DMC5? I don't even want to do that. Besides, I can just boot up Cheat Engine and there's my turbo. There's really nothing else on there that I actually want to play. But I don't even like that game longer. I was gonna run DMC5, I just run it on PC and just mod in turbo. Really no reason to get a PS5, like... I was gonna play Bloodborne on it, but then I realized after playing Elden Ring, I probably wouldn't even like it, so... No reason to do that. Shadow of the Colossus remake... Was something I wanted to play on it too, but like... Not worth it for that alone. So, I'll probably just never get one. <laughs>
I don't really see any reason to get one. If I was going to go to console, I'd get um, a Series X, probably. Like a like Gears of War. Time splitters. But I probably won't get that either. You like Elden Ring more than Dark Souls? I didn't play Dark Souls enough to hate it as much as Elden Ring. So I don't know. Like, I dislike Elden Ring because I'm much more familiar with it. But I've only ever played Dark Souls like once. But I mean, I beat Elden Ring a lot of times, like I speed ran it, so... I'm intimately familiar with the game enough to actually say that I don't like the way it's designed. But I mean, I've only played Dark Souls like once. Am I a fan of God of War? No. What's up, Chaser? Good time. <laughs> and to watch the archive channel, Drev. There's like unlimited content on there. I like to reboot video chaser. Good stuff, buddy. You're doing good. What's up, Rascal? The reason I don't save the live streams is because, well, they're on Twitch. They're saved there if you want to watch them. But, like, anything that is good content from the live streams gets put on the archive channel, and everything that isn't Wait, put on there just isn't worth Wait, watching. And I don't want to. And I stream like almost every day, so I want to. Don't want to just clutter the YouTube channels with a bunch of dog shit live streams. For the heads up, Volk. How are you doing? Dude, I need to do that so bad, cat dog. I really, I really need to get a clean install of Windows going, and then re reorganize all my files. But that's gonna take like three days. That's how I'm afraid to do it. I hate Novi. Hi. Don't want to organize, just buy a new PC. I mean, there's some truth to that. I've definitely just bought a new drive before because I didn't want to organize stuff. Like, I just bought like a fucking five terabyte SSD NVMe drive recently. And I just put everything on that now. <laughs> I need more space. Text is cool, but having a fresh Windows installation feels ten times better. 
Honestly, true. Spying a whole new thing is pretty solid. I, my problem with organizing things is I create so many new files all the time and they don't auto proliferate to the right places and so that causes me some problems. Like, you know, I do have a folder called speedrun thumbnails and there are several hundred image files and Photoshop documents in there. But like, not every time when I create a new thumbnail does it automatically like want to put it in that folder. So sometimes I get really lazy and just save it wherever it decides to save it. And that's how my files end up in the wrong places. Like I'm like, man, I'm so glad I'm done editing this video. Now let's export it. And the default export location is like some random place that I have no idea where it goes. But I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Good enough. No head? All good. Just use that, wherever that is, good enough. You know, like. I need to get back to organizing and stuff, especially my game installations. Those are pretty much organized though. They're like all on the new drive. It's so like every game I run is on the NVMe, which is pretty solid. Helps a ton for loading screens. But then I have like random duplicates and stuff. They'll be in different spots. I moved over all my Adobe products as well. I'm like just afraid to reinstall Windows though because I have to format that drive and I have no idea what's installed on there. Surely there's like some super important shit installed on there that I have no idea about. Like I'm pretty sure Face and Anti Cheats installed there. Ouch. I miss it. The plow. Yo, Artyom. Thank you for the primer, dude. Don't kill the dark ones. Bad ending. Welcome. Artyom. Got some rare come back at any time. Not what I want. What are you buying? There you go. Are you going to unevil these residents? That's the plan. 
If I watched our even data, no, Resident Evil Spanish. Try to stay away from it as much as possible. What's up, Mariah? Doing great, how are you? That's how I never walk alone. Is there... Supposed to do it yesterday, but... I was helping my girl with her car. For more, I was babysitting my girl's car while it was getting worked on by my friend, but... I finally have my car back. I'm just Thanks, Aldi. Gotta. Excuse me. Pardon me. You. Only touch RE for speedrunning? That's a little broad strokes. I still avoid like 90% of RE. Even when it comes to speedrunning. Don't kill me, Novies. I haven't looked at the game feed in like 10 minutes, Rev. I literally have not looked at the game in a while, in like 10 minutes. I just, when I run RE4, I just stare at chat. And just play through my peripheral because it's like I don't actually need to pay attention. There's not really much to be paying attention to, anyways. Like, you're not really doing much. Most of the run is just like hold W through the, through the, through the game. That's why I don't really enjoy running RE4 very much. It's kind of boring. Ever done a challenge run marathon? Like knife only, the no gun, sword, stuff like that? Not really. I don't really enjoy doing challenge runs that are like that easy. Does that make sense? Like if I could do the whole challenge run in one in one sitting and like fast enough to be able to do multiple in one sitting for different games, then that's probably not much of a challenge, you know. Like, I really like that DMC3 AI one that we did because it took like 40 hours and it was like actually interesting the whole time. Some of these games are long, like doing like a glitchless RE4 run or something would probably take like two and a half hours. It would just be so... Not fun. So if I did like knife only or something, then it'd probably take like three and a half, four hours. And it's like, after doing four hours of RE4 bullshit, do I really want to do like DMC1 bullshit? Not really. I'm down to do like themed marathons though, like do like an all collect-a-thon marathon. You know, like, all collectibles, 
for like a bunch of different games, like 100% in Doom, all collect cake in DMC3, you know, all collectibles in DMC1, stuff like that. Like that'd be fun. Like an all FPS game one. The race marathon. Gotta imagine the scheduling nightmare that would be. They're in all treasures category in RE4. Uh, yeah. But it's like a meme. No one actually runs it. I mean, it's just, you know, New Game Pro, but longer. No, nah, no, never put MGR. Don't really plan on playing it either. I'm convinced no one's actually ever played MGR, they just like the memes. I didn't like that's fine, but I haven't either. And I also enjoy the memes. Should be excited for them, Sour Sweet. They're fun. People shit on it because it's not Metal Gear. Honestly, that probably is the game's biggest strong suit, is that it's not Metal Gear. a dub in my book. Mother. Howdy Sours. Butter to have you. Should be excited though. Doing a limited ammo challenge run for RE4, any advice for Castle? I mean, most of the game you could just run past every enemy and not actually fight anything. There's some pretty good grenade throws you can do for Castle that save a ton. If you're allowed to use grenades. Like, especially the section where you're guarding Ashley. You could save a ton of ammo by throwing some wall priest grenades. Welcome. Basically, just no merchant pro strats. Got some red. What are you buying? <laughs> Come back anytime. Honestly, if you're like planning on doing any sort of challenge run in this game. Just learning the No Merchant Pro route, like, makes every challenge run easy. Because in No Merchant Pro, you basically kill everything with either the knife or the grenade anyways. You can't use grenades. Then you're fucked. 
Have fun. Take is collect all, kill everything. So it's all bosses, all collect. I keep biting my tongue. Not like in the proverbial sense, I say whatever the fuck I want. But uh, like accidentally, like I, I physically biting my tongue. This shit hurts, man. Feels bad. Well, if you can't use grenades and you're on limited ammo, then just make sure the ammo you're using is actually good ammo. Like, use sniper bolts. If you're trying to, like, do a low shot count, then the sniper is basically your only option. Apparently, Radish. Should be fine now, though. Do you know the Oven Man? The Oven Man! Miss eating asshole. Based bubbles. This is the best part of the remake. I just got told it was only a summer fling and she only talked to me when she needed some type of comfort. Well, at least she admits that she's a sociopath. But that's an L, I'm sorry. Bullet dodged. That's a dub, Aiden. I know it doesn't feel like a dub, but bullet dodged. That's not the mother of your children. Move on. Go next, you know what I'm saying? Go Jim. True. Friend zone? I think it's a little bit worse than friend zone. Or like you've been used zone. Friend zone? Nah, I don't have friends. I watch speedrunners. Based. Relationships. The only ones of those I have are parasocial. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me. Coming through. Yes, yeah, Alton. Next to the luck. How are you doing? The guy on TikTok about finding people's summer flings on Instagram. I tag their friends and vids about that and snitch on the girl. I'm not a huge fan of stuff like that. 
gotta let the personal stuff be personal, you know? You don't want to be air airing your dirty laundry out on the internet for everyone to see. Doesn't make you good, look good, doesn't make the other person look good, you know? Came in late again? That's all good, dude. Like, one in five men don't come at all, so. Respect. Been solved. Thanks for asking. How do you guys win an argument against a girl? Be correct. That's usually the number one step, IMO. Hard to lose the argument if you're factually correct. But also, like, you don't actually want to win the argument. You just want to come to a resolution. I don't know, I'm a hard ass, so I win every argument I'm ever in, so. If you win, she's gonna be mad at you for a while. True. Yo, Kane's love. Thanks to the raid, I appreciate that. How's your stream? You gotta think about why you're arguing though. Like, I mean, like, do you really want to win the argument? Usually the answer is not really. You just want to come to some sort of resolution. A lot of times winning the arguments about making the other person feel like they're stupid and just like admitting that you're right. But that's not really the outcome you want. You don't want someone that's defeated to be with you, you know? You want there to be like mutual ground. What's up, Stitch? What's up, Ruby? Howdy. What's up, you boy? Did some MGS3 achievements. Nice. Doing good. Glad to hear you had fun. That being said, I do win. Like, every argument I'm in. Because I'm usually correct. To be the bigger person and concede? I don't think that's the right move either. You just have to air it out and make sure that everyone's grievances are understood and then come to some sort of mutual conclusion about it. Doing good. Wait. Follow me. Leave it to me, Leon. Follow me. You can't just be the bigger person to concede because that'll make you resentful. You can't just be a little bitch that just rolls over and takes whatever. Like, if you're arguing, obviously you're upset about something.
feel like most of the time, at least for me, I guess so far in the argument, I don't remember why I was arguing in the first place. Then you probably are wrong about the argument. <laughs> I don't know, for me, I never lose sight of what the argument is about. I always have a pretty firm understanding about what the conversation is. Boom! Headshot! I don't know, it depends on what you're arguing about. People argue about dumb shit, but... I try not to argue unless it's actually important. I'm leaving it to you. Oh my god, it's the guy from Fortnite. What's his name? Resident Evil 4? I know him. Fortnite. Is this the last game? Or one game left? I would like to show you directly under the camera the list of games. A giant list that takes up like one third of the screen real estate. I see that game's been going at level 7 yet. I was for uh, two games. And now I'm like almost level 5 again. I like each trigger teammates to be honest. Well, obviously, but you don't argue about stupid shit like that, Artemix. I don't know. I don't at least. Even though, even if I know I'm correct, I let her win because being a winner is not important for me because I need food and my bed to sleep in but it also makes me kind of happy. Well, like, you can't just be a bitch and roll over all the time, otherwise you're gonna get resentful, and then that long term, that's gonna hurt the relationship. I mean, choosing your battles is important, but if it's actually something important, you know. Been a long time, comrade. 
Krauser. I died in a crash two years ago. Is that what they told you? You're the one who kidnapped Dashley. You catch on quick, as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. What do you want? Hmm. The simple saddler developed, that's all. Leave Ashley out of this. Oh, why do you didn't hurt him by Sather's trust me? Like you, I'm American. Feral. You do? If they say something dumb, you're gonna go into painstaking detail on why what they said is dumb? You got her involved just for that? Ah, ting, 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 ting. That just makes you a dick. <laughs> All for umbrella's sake. Umbrella? Almost let it talk. Enough talk. Die, comrade. I forgot the line. Never said you weren't a dick? Fair enough. True. Well, then it makes sense for you to just concede most of the time because you're probably just being an asshole. Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> <sighs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, Waifu. is it? What are the most fun things, in your opinion, that make this your favorite game? Well, it's not my favorite game, so... You knew each other? Done. None of them. <laughs> it's like top five, probably, but... Definitely not my favorite. OG or remake, which should I prefer? Definitely OG. I like... By a lot. Remake is mid as fuck. What is my favorite? DMC3. Honestly, I think that the main reason that I enjoy this game so much is just nostalgia. I don't think if I played it for the first time today that I would like it that much. I think I'd feel pretty similarly about it that I do RE4 Remake. This is just kind of mid. I mean, I, I love it. It's a great game, but I think that if I played it now, I wouldn't be as stoked on it for sure. Why am I out of TMP ammo? Oh, that grenade throw is so free. That was like so far away from the corner. I'm tired.
Yeah, I definitely do like the remake knife fight more than the cutscene. I'm glad it's actual gameplay. Not a huge fan of cutscenes. Especially unskippable ones. Especially unskippable ones with QTs. Thank you. <laughs> Come back any time. Well, in RE7's defense, not that I do that very often, but it doesn't have any QTs. So, in some ways, it's better than RE4. In that one very particular way. You like cutscenes of QTs? Well, you also like my stream, so we obviously have established you have bad taste. What's up, Big Snake? Howdy. Well, if they let you skip the cutscenes, then the game is an hour long. Unironically. What is it that you fight for, comrade? The views, I suppose. For your death, God. A little bit too close. That's okay, though. So that QTE's long cutscenes become boring after a point? Yeah, if the court, if the cutscene itself is boring, sure. But if you actually have a good cutscene, then it's not boring. Like, DMC3's cutscenes are phenomenal. I never get bored while watching those. Also, if you get bored of the cutscene, just skip it. Yeah, responding is slower, slightly. Yo, person suit. Thanks for the raid, dude. Appreciate that. How was your stream? Welcome, everybody. Haven't seen you streaming in a while. Hoping they're good. Okay, we're gonna come. Oh, fire miss. Cool. This is good. How about I've gone well? Yeah, it's going pretty solid.
Oh, I nice speedrun the SI Meta. Because it's boring. <laughs> Because I don't want to. Excuse me, sir. Maybe I will at some point for the content, but I don't have any desire to at the moment. Yay, no crash. Yeah, let's give cutscenes are kind of cursed. If a game has let's give cutscenes, I don't even want to play it. Like, even casually. Not that I'm gonna skip the cutscenes in my first playthrough, because I probably won't, unless they're particularly bad. Uh, but it's just like, if it has that design philosophy of like, you can't skip cutscenes, then I'm probably just not going to enjoy the game. Because it's probably just not the type of game that I would enjoy. What's up, Kriba? Howdy. Like, if your game has unskippable cutscenes, then, like, probably just not gonna like it. Like, even outside of the cutscenes not being skippable themselves. Like, the design choices that are around that game are just ones that I'm not going to like. Like, you can't skip cutscenes, which means you're prioritizing the presentation and narrative over the gameplay, which means the gameplay is probably not going to be very good, which means the game is probably not going to be my type of game. Ashley. I mean, unskippable cutscenes are one thing, but you say like you could present it in gameplay with a conversation and stuff, but walk and talk sections in games is way worse than unskippable cutscenes. Like I'll take a walk and talk, I'll take an unskippable cutscene any day over a walk and talk section. Because at least then I can just go full AFK and just leave, you know? But if I'm replaying a game with a walk and talk, that means I gotta hold forward for like five minutes while this character just exposits bullshit at me. I'd much rather just completely leave in the room and let the cutscene play out. And also like, you can have much more directorial control and make it much more impactful narratively in a cutscene than like a walk and talk or a conversation that happens in the game.
sweetheart. Yeah, like that whole section in RE4 Remake where you have to carry Ashley and shit, like... Just make it a cutscene, dude. Because then at that point, like, you could skip it. And even if you couldn't skip it, I could just leave. I could just be gone for like two minutes while that happens. But on replays, every single time, I gotta watch, I gotta fucking hold forward while Leon carries Ashley for like two and a half minutes. GG. Not bad run. 137. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. When I be back, we'll do some Halo 3. Ashley, PRB. Where are you? Leon! <laughs> Come on, let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished, right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that.